Including brand new first class seats, a first class shower, galley, lounge, an optimised design and many more improvements for other plane. This is my brand new 747 V4. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And what do you think of my sales pitch? Pretty convincing right? But anyways, before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free and you'll have unlimited access to all my content. But yeah, getting straight away into this, if you haven't seen my V3 video, go check that out. Because I'm just going to be covering um, the changes that I made. And the first um, major change on the exterior um, is the landing gear. So I kind of repositioned them and realigned them um, just so it would give um, the plane more elevation. But it will also um, be a lot more balanced as well. And yes, unfortunately, this is still here. Still trying to find a way to get rid of it. Taking a look at the interior, and this is where the money is at. Now, for the cockpit, um, I didn't make any changes to it. They're the same controls. And here it is, the brand new first class suite. Um, so I kind of recreated um, the whole first class suite. Um, I had a couple of pieces just lying around. And yeah, I was able to make it into this. Um, they do recline as normal first class um, sweets, but uh, yeah, nothing fancy because um, I don't have a lot of space here. I couldn't really make it into a bed um, because if I did that, um, yeah, it just wouldn't really work out. And even if I was gonna go all out, I would have. I would only be able to fit like two first class suites, which is definitely not ideal. And yeah, we do have um, these pieces um, for the back. I've tried to make it into like a um, TV um, type thing, but. This is the closest I could get to it. So moving on to the first story, um, I took the engines and landing gears off just so I can give you guys a better viewing angle. Alright, so starting from the front, um, if you're wondering, this is green and yellow because um, when I have the second story on, this is just not visible at all. And yeah, I just I don't have many of these bricks and just wanted to get rid of them, um, really. Um, so yeah, anyways, here is the first class shower. And... Um, this makes um, my previous um, first class shower from the V3 model look like a complete joke because yes, I promised it and I did go all out here. So yeah, well let's first start off from the actual shower. So I connected the shower head um, um, to, the, uh, to the back of the nose of the plane and moving back all the way here. Yeah, I have um, a hot and Hold button and um, mini things will enter the shower through here and yeah now this wouldn't be complete without a toilet and a sink so I did add that in so you can see here very tight um, but I did try and make the best out of the space this is a lot of space um, just for one toilet by the way but yeah moving back here um, is the galley and um, this is actually very similar to the original galley from the Goody airplane, kind of inspired from that. And we have a sink over here, and um, over here um, is where mini figs would enter the galley, but ordinarily is where the drink cart would be stored. Moving back is um, the lounge. Now, a bit of an odd looking lounge. Um, I tried some funky design ideas. With this, I'm not exactly sure what. Um, I was originally going for in terms of um, functionality but design wise um, I could see it being like a foldable type table this piece here and it would fold back and forth and that's kind of how um, the the minifig standing here instead of having to hand out drinks and having to leave to put the drinks here this would just fold in um, he would just put the drinks on and fold out so um, strange little design. I've tried many of these um, for other plane, but this is by far um, the weirdest little gimmick. And over here is just a little, a little jar here. Maybe it could be for cookies. Maybe it could be for like um, sweets. And of course, um, we have the good old stairs. Moving back, um, here we have um, economy class. A very basic design. You guys already know. Um, I use two colors, um, just like on real planes. Um, I think it looks a little better this way than having it um, all on one color. And back here we have the lavatory. 
Now very similar to the lavatory on my triple seven mark, and yeah, I used mm, basically the same design. Um, I don't think I changed much up, but yeah, um, I'll run through the design here. So basically, what I'm trying to achieve with this lavatory is ordinarily, um, on most Lego scale airplanes, there would only be one toilet, and I tried to squeeze in two, um, with this design. So. Here is a toilet seat and this is two studs and that's because on one side here That's the tap and on the other side the tap is back there So the tap on this side connects through here and the tap on that side connects through there Um, a cool witty design um, to allow me to have um, two lavatories in a space that should only really have one lavatory But um, it is a airplane bathroom. So I guess this is what um, most people would expect from it Guys, before we end this video off, um, one of my subscribers asked me to do a tutorial um, of the door design of um, my bus that I made in my um, most recent video. So I'll show you guys how you guys can make this and I'll kind of go over the basic mechanics behind it and how you can implement it in your own builds. Alright guys, so as you can see here is the bus and we're going to connect um, this piece, this white piece here. Um, underneath the bus so right there okay and as you can see here um it will fall all the way up all right so the basic mechanics behind it is um ordinarily if i did not have this piece here and i was just gonna have a door on the hinge this cannot open like this just cannot open so my solution to it was to implement this little hinge piece and so it would fold, the whole um, unit will fold outwards, and then the door would open just like that. Alright, so now I'll kind of show you how you can make this at home. And the pieces that I use, um, you, can, you guys are um, going to have to need this part and this part right here. Now this you can change up um, to whatever pieces you have at home. And yeah, these are kind of the main four components that you're going to need. So, uh... As you can see here, very um, fairly straightforward design, and this piece would go on top of um, the hinge. Now you don't exactly need um, this like white stripe going across. This is mainly this is mainly for design purposes, and as you can see here, the hinge um, mechanism will open and close just like that. And then this is kind of um, like what will go on top of the hinge, and this is where things kind of get um, a little bit more complicated. Alright, so this is um, kind of like the mechanism of how the door would fold open. And you're going to have um, one of these pieces facing up and the other one facing down with one stud on top. Because that stud on the bottom is what's going to connect it uh, to the bus. So um, the stud facing the top will go here. And then it should look like this. And then this would then go under the bus and connect like that anyway guys thank you so much for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button we are super close to 1000 subs um let's try and make that happen um by the end of june so yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button it's free and you have unlimited access to all my content i'll see you in the next video bye, bye.